try to try to explain. So let's pretend there's a a a twenty six year old basketball coach that's a PE teacher that's watching this video that is wanting to get into basketball training and start their up start up their own local training business. Like if you had to sum it up into like one or two sentences, why why should they be focusing on results from the very beginning? Because I know what most people focus on at the very beginning and it's not results. <laughs> uh why why do you think that is such a key thing to establish early on in the business? Because re results is what parents are looking for. Uh, parents are looking for results for their kids. And so you want to establish getting results right away. Also, results is a key as well to your business growing without any marketing. Meaning I've gotten so many kids and I still, even 30 years later, and you and I talked about this when we first met, I don't do any marketing uh, at all. Um, I don't do any ads. Um, at the very beginning, when I first started back in the States and did a, a camp at Navarra College, and this was prior to me going full time and what I'm doing now, that's the only time that I ever did ad advertising, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, did, did ads. For, for 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 the camps and for the and, and, and for camps that I did, you know, prior to me going full time. So all of my referrals come from word of mouth. And the key to having a lot of success locally, because uh, as a skills coach, I've coached in in uh, youth leagues. Uh, I had a chance for one year um Lake Island's uh, junior, you know, Lake Island's high school needed a JV coach uh, when I was a community liaison. So I got a chance to coach JV girls for one year and, 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 and that type of thing. But because I've been able to get results and get results quickly, I've never had to worry about clients. And what I mean by that is that when I've worked with teams and gotten results, uh, those teams, those youth teams would stay with me anywhere from three to five years. Say okay? that one more time because because I don't want people to breathe by what you said. How long do they stay with you? On average, three to five years. That's Got on it. average. I've had individuals that have been with me since the first grade. I've had three students go from no, four total go with me from first grade all the way through high school. And then two of those students came back every summer and worked out during their college career. So they were, they were with me for 16 years. Amazing. And so results are everything. Right. I mean, that's the, that's, that's been the main key to my success. And it's the, it's the main reason why I don't have to market is because of the fact that I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give you another, a current example is, is uh, I was telling you about CC, mm. Cheris, who just signed with George Washington University. Well, she's a second generation student in my program, okay? The way that I ended up, um, connecting with that family was that her mom was a track star in high school and she also played basketball, but she decided her senior year that she wanted to play basketball in college. And a friend of their family who had three kids in their family that I trained hmm. referred her mom and dad to me. Mm -hmm. And so long story short, there was a showcase coming up, a college showcase coming up, I think in about four, four weeks. And I told her mom and dad, I said, she's a great athlete. I said, but she's got to get her skill set refined 
in terms of being able to play college basketball, meaning she was going to have to be able to play like a two, three position in college. And she didn't have the skill set for that, but she was a great athlete. And so her mom brought her to me three days a week for four weeks. And, uh, and, uh, and I honed in on doing ball handling drills with her, shooting drills with her and those types of things. And then sent her to the showcase after that. And she got offered a full scholarship at um, William and Mary. She got offered a full scholarship at William and Mary. And so that's wow. just an example of how important getting results are fast, but not only getting results fast, but getting results from a standpoint to where it helped her achieve her goal of playing basketball in college on scholarship. Mm -hmm. And so parents see that as a return on their investment. Right. I gave you $5,000. You give me a hundred thousand dollars scholarship. Yeah. That's like, if I had those odds, I would be living in Vegas at the roulette table <laughs> 24 so, so, hours a day. <laughs> so, so, so as a result of that, mm -hmm. I became locally known as a guy yep. that if you have a player in that situation, you, you need to send them to coach Brown. 